No German has ever won the Mr. Olympia, but Germany has certainly produced some larger-than-life athletes in bodybuilding. In this video, we're comparing the three most popular and successful German bodybuilders of the 21st century. First, we have the legendary Gunther Schlierkamp, the only one who defeated the greatest bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman, during his prime. Between 1998 and 2005, Ronnie Coleman won 23 pro shows, including 8 Mr. Olympia titles and lost only once in 2002 at the GNC Show of Strength to Gunter Schlierkamp. This is the version of Gunter we're going to use in this comparison today. Next, we have Marcus Rule, arguably the freakiest mass monster of all time. And since we brought Ronnie into the discussion, Marcus Rule was the only one who could stand toe to toe with him from a mass point of view and arguably defeat Ronnie in this aspect. His 2002 Night of Champions showing is considered by many to be the most impressive physique of all time, the only physique that could challenge 2003 Ronnie on stage. So this is the version of Marcus we are going to use in this comparison. Last but not least we have Dennis Wolf, an Arnold Classic winner and a top 3 Meister Olympia finisher, something the other two cannot claim. While having an impressive stature and freaky body parts of his own, Dennis had a different type of physique. He wasn't as much of a freaky monster as the other two, but was more aesthetic, which can be an advantage against them. While his 2013 season was arguably his best overall, his best shape of all time has to be his underrated 2007 Mr. Olympia debut physique. His physique was fresher with no injuries and more aesthetic, this video was voted by you to be uploaded next on the channel as part of my now weekly fan request poll. If you want to see the second most voted option next on the channel, get this video to 500 likes, front double biceps. As we can see the peak of rule at the 2002 Night of Champions is taken from a bad angle and doesn't tell the whole story. This is the case for all of his peaks from that show. So I will alternate these picks with different ones from his other best showings. This is him at the Olympia the same year, where he placed 8th, too low a placing for this underrated physique in my opinion. But I digress. All three of them are massive. This is German quality right here. Dennis Wolf has the best V taper and X frame, but the weakest arms. By today's standards, he would probably win this one. Gunther looks the most conditioned here and arguably the most complete from top to bottom but he has the widest waist. To his benefit, he pulled in his abs which is the best he can do. Marcus Rule has the freakiest arms and he's the most muscular overall but in both instances his midsection is sloppy and by today's standards he would get penalized. Again overall by the judging criteria nowadays Dennis would probably win but my personal favorite in this pose is Gunther Schlierkamp. Front lat spread, Marcus Rule showcases his most muscular front lat spread. The 2002 Night of Champions was the show where he pretty much turned every pose into a most muscular. This is a clearer shot from the same year's Olympia where he pretty much does the same but he doesn't look as impressive. While he looks freaky and impressive, this is not what this pose should look like. I believe the pose is contested by Gunter and Dennis here. Gunter looks again the hardest and grainiest, but Dennis's display is impeccable. He's got the best lats, the smallest midsection and a very impressive X frame. I like Dennis Wolf the most in this second pose, side chest pose. We're witnessing the most muscular side chest pose from Rule here. Despite the black and white picture, we can notice the level of dryness and fullness he had at this show. This is his pose for sure. He's got the best shoulders, the best arms and the best chest contested with Gunther here. Lower body wise, if we bring up the 2002 Olympia for both Gunther and Rule, we can see that neither of them has a world class side leg. But again, Gunter is the best conditioned guy in this comparison. Dennis looks good, nice, round and full. And he battles Gunter for second here. Back double biceps. 
Gunther has the weakest back but by far the best lower body. He's the only one with striated glutes here. Rule's angle is off but it's visible that he has the thickest back. His back looked crazy at this show. Dennis Wolf has the most visually pleasing back. He's the most balanced and has the best execution. Even his calves look decent here, something he was always criticized for. This is rule at the 2004 Olympia from a better angle, but his back was not as impressive anymore. Overall, this pose could go either way. By today's standards, Wolf has a strong case, but so does Gunther with his straighted glutes and decent back. My personal favorite in this pose is Marcus Rule, though. His back at the Night of Champions 2002 was something else. Back lat spread, Marcus Rule's back was gigantic and detailed. It's too bad he didn't flex those glutes because he was bone dry at this show. Gunther has a very strong case to win as he challenges Rule with both size and details at the back and has the superior lower body. Dennis Wolf has a great pose but in my opinion he falls last this time against these two. Remember to like the video and get it to 500 likes to unlock the next most voted option. Side triceps. We have this black and white peak for Rule but we can still see that in spite of his overall thickness he falls last because of his weakness weak triceps and sloppy midsection. The pose is contested between the other two and I believe Wolf has the upper hand because of the thicker triceps lateral head and better execution in spite of the off-camera angle. Gunther looks peeled but this is not his best shot. Abs and thighs. This is Marcus rule at the 2004 Mr. Olympia again. It's safe to say that this is probably his least impressive pose. His midsection was almost never in good check and while having great quads, he was always imbalanced because of his huge upper body. Gunther is peeled top to bottom. No wonder he beat Ronnie Coleman with this physique, but this pose goes to Dennis Wolf. He's got the most aesthetic midsection, a great V taper and also impressive quads. This is probably the most obvious win in this entire comparison so far. Most muscular pose, all three of these German giants look awesome in this pose but Gunther falls last. His shoulders and arms can't match up to the other two. But again, he's the most conditioned guy on the stage, the only one with an Olympia winning worthy physique probably. Especially if we count the conditioning from the rear. Between the other two, I have to admit, I'm impressed by Dennis. Not too many people can stand up to Knight of Champions rule in this pose if any. It's almost debatable but I still think Marcus rule owns this pose. He's basically the most muscular guy here. His shoulders, arms and chest are basically his strongest attributes and on top of all he was conditioned here. This was a fun comparison but difficult to edit and judge. We didn't have the best pictures, the camera angles were very different for all three but I formed an idea about this comparison overall. So if this was on a stage nowadays there's no doubt in my mind Dennis Wolf would win and Marcus Rule would get last. Having a good midsection and aesthetics is crucial nowadays. However if Rule had checked his midsection and flexed his glutes in the back shots this would be an easy win for him as this physique could go against anyone in history but in my opinion overall counting everything from conditioning to overall completeness and presentation I have to go with Gunther Schlierkamp for the win.